Hey, thanks for following free sample videos from our bestseller V-Ray webinars pack. Here's your sample number two. As you know, in architectural visualization, scenes get heavy and complicated. One of the best optimizations is to use X reference files. That way you will load external files into your scene just by linking them without actually importing them. That way your navigation will be easy and it might render a little bit faster. Yeah, things yeah, things get sometimes heavy. I mean, even if you do convert everything into proxies and everything, it doesn't really help. Um, you know, in order to have a little bit faster navigation, you gotta use X references. So uh, it's a good opportunity to show that option uh, by using my uh, previous scene that I did for the cubicle challenge. Pretty nice uh, kitchen. I actually modified it myself and. Um, except the Evermotion bar chairs here. So let me uh, import my camera and my walls. This is, this is what I actually need in order to set this up because I can't really rotate and touch X references. So I'm gonna get my walls and I'm gonna get my camera. All right, so I'm gonna click C, go to my camera view, and here it is, my building and my walls, so I can see the kitchen there. I can move things around just to make it, you know, fit it better, but um, after I done moving stuff and getting it in the right position what I actually wanted, I can take and delete this, wall because I don't really need it and of course delete the camera you gotta use camera because it's very easy to see um, to arrange your angle it's very important to have stuff in balance and harmony so if you do arrange just stuff without seeing this through the actual frame sometimes you might get unbalanced composition this is very important to bring your cameras and when you're done just delete those uh, save it. I'm gonna save it as kitchen X reference. And now, and now, action actually can go and load this in as X reference. So um, preferences, X reference scene. Now you gotta click add and locate your scene. So here's my scene, kitchen X reference. Click open. Alright, and voila, here it is, the scene been merged into the file here, however, if you notice, I cannot touch anything, I cannot move, I cannot select, I just don't get this option. So, if you do want to have any change, which is very important, you gotta go back. If you gotta move something here, you gotta go back to your X reference file, bring back the camera so you will get the same angle and move a little bit things around. So let's, for example, move this closet a little bit further. Like this. Alright, click save. Now we go back to our scene, X reference, select that scene. And now if you just take a look at that closet, I click after I click update now, it's actually going to jump a little bit further. Boom, voila. So is it moved just because I moved it in the other file. Alright, so one of those really good tricks is that you can have many multiple files and different people can work on those files and optimize them and add some more detail without you touching them. And after you finish working with your file, just X reference everything and it will be constantly updated and uh, will appear in your file. So basically, easy navigation, I think it will render maybe a little bit faster just because it doesn't load the whole scene into the RAM. In our recorded webinars, we do have many other optimization tricks. 
This over the shoulder was taken from V-Ray exterior training. And I really hope you will use it in your daily work. So I thank you very much for watching this. Stay tuned for the next videos. This is Alex, your Rear Guide. Ciao.